and wow you see that is super 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 crazy that is crazy so yeah that's bad it doesn't happen with every model there's some models that hair goes fine but there's ways to fix this too so don't worry okay yeah <laughs> That is like crazy and annoying. Okay, welcome to Dollhouse. Let's play. So, last time I showed you how to use the DSSC -C converter and then convert your model into a PMX in Vroy to PMX and told you the reasons why you need to do so so moving on we have left in this process to exporting and all that to miku miku dance we have left is pmx editor and pmx tailor and these two programs coincide with each other pretty much so you're going to need both of these to work together. But anyways, I want to show you, let's go here and then we're going to delete the broken model and we're just going to deal with this one. And let's see, we're going to select a motion and I'm going to show you what happened when you converted to PMX and put it into Miku Miku Dance. So I'm just going to open this. Make sure you're on your character and then open that. So we're going to load our motion and automatically he's going to jump back right there. So I'm just going to select play and show you what's going on. So as you can see, his hair is no longer moving. That means his hair no longer has any physics. And as you see as well, the clothing does not have physics either. And th that's okay if you just like for your clothing not to have physics. But uh, most people want their clothing to have physics. And this is just not working for me anyways. And so if you further look, I'm just going to click pause real quick on this part. You can see the body of your model clipping through your clothing and usually this is because a weight paint issue but in fact we're not going to have to do any weight painting using these two programs PMX editor and PMX Taylor so PM in PMX editor we can just cut the body out and it would just be the clothing showing so anything that's not showing in Miku Miku Dance, pretty much you you don't need it there, so it will it won't matter if you cut these pieces up. So that's what we will be doing, as well as getting physics onto the hair and physics onto the clothing. And this might take a bit of time if there are any co complications, but hopefully this tutorial just runs smoothly, and I can show you how this is done. So let me see something. Is his eye texture there? yeah okay so anyways first off we're going to go ahead into pmx taylor and just show you some things so what pmx taylor basically does is it basically makes placing physics onto your model much easier so you don't have to go through the complication of making a bunch of bones, trying to figure out how to weight paint it all, or all that madness. This sort of acts as a, I don't know, like a automatic sort of thing to a PMX editor. So I believe these, these uh, programs if I'm not mistaken, was made by the same person, and if not, then someone made this this PMX tailor to kind of coincide with PMX editor. 
so so yeah what this basically does is like I said it makes the physics easy so I watched a, a lot of tutorials where okay I see them actually physically doing the bones onto the model and things like that and it looks very complicated not that I can't get it after a while but it's sort of complicated and if there is an easier way to do things you probably want to take shortcuts when you're using programs such as Blender, b Studio, PMX Editor. You want to take the shortcuts because it's already a very long process to get it done. So if, if they have such a tool where you can automatically put physics in, you might want to use it. But also if you want to sort of better your uh, physics and things like that, then you probably want to learn how to do it yourself, bone by bone. But if you just want to go with this, then this is what this tutorial is for, is this. And until I learn how to use PMX Editor where I can just bone my own model and figure out how to put the physics myself, then I would do that. But for now, I'm just going to use this because it was placed here and it works. So what I'm going to do now is pull open our screenshot. So basically, it's almost just like the Vroid to PMX on this page. So this is import and that's run or export or convert, which I think convert would be a better word. So it would be import and convert. So that's what this does. So anyways, first you want to do with PMX Taylor is load your model, which is import and your model is unless you put it in a different location it should still be in DSSC and you just open that and you open your PMX file and that's what you're going to put inside of here. Open the PMX file that you converted in DSSC. Okay so now that you have that usually something pops up right here to make sure that like to let you know that you loaded it but in this case it didn't so sometimes you just click this and it comes up as you can see in that you you loaded successfully loaded your model but um, you do nothing here after you load the model yet so if you see if I if I even click it all it's gonna say is error nothing is going to happen so you then have to go to this complicated tab which is the second tab I have not yet too much explored these two tabs so I'm not a hundred percent sure what they do but I know this tab is definitely in use. So as you see, it's a lot of Japanese or and or Chinese, whichever language this is, because sometimes when I translate this in, in the PNG translator, it comes out as Chinese. And I'm not sure if it's Chinese or Japanese, but it doesn't matter. It's just a language that you cannot understand if you just speak only English. So I went further to make it a bit simpler for you and I just went ahead and made my edited screenshot of it. This being the fact that I nearly blew up my brain watching the tutorial and then go using PNG translators to try to figure this out. And in which case you don't have to figure out which each point means because I'm going to more than likely if I remember leave this screenshot in the description box so if we go over what it says so you're gonna use this screenshot in reference to this and I tried to make it clear and readable and it's so it just matches this and you just understand okay so this Japanese phrase means texture in other words not exactly and this in other words is bone and this in other words is a rigid body so that's pretty much it so first off with our model what we want to do is explore this feature here which is automatic physics in which I don't know how to uh, use PMX Taylor to automatically put physics onto the hair so if you if you um have already exported your I mean you, you made your VRM file on v Studio and edited the bones in Vroid Studio, your hair should already have bones once you put it into Blender and the other programs. So those bones are going to be used 
to automatically activate those physics again we are going to use this tab here so we're just going to click it and we're just going to click the boxes here and this is all the physics on the hair so I don't think I had any physics on the clothing on it or anything but in which case if in V-Road Studio the clothing already has physics those will appear too and you can just activate them the same way as I'm going to show you how to activate the hair if that's what you want to do so anyways you're gonna select all the boxes because this is all of your physics and you're just gonna click OK and you let that run for a minute and a pop-up should appear letting you know that it was successful so yes this is the pop-up and this means okay successfully imported so this is all your stuff and if you're doing an automatic physics like I am about to do on hair you touch nothing here don't touch anything because it should just flow okay so you're going to go back to the first tab and then you're going to oops, oops, you're going to just go ahead and convert it run it so we're going to run it right here And after you run it, it should do a similar thing to Vroid to PMX and it's going to show you it was successful or if you had an error. If you had an error, it's because you did something wrong in this second tab. But if not, I just messed up my file, but yeah. If not, then it'll pretty much just appear as an okay file. But I think mine successfully did it before I clicked this stupid tab right here. But um, I believe mine successfully did it. So I'm just going to go ahead and go right to my folder and just go ahead and open it. So I'm just going to leave that model there so, so you can see the, the difference. Anyway, so once you uh, convert in PMX Taylor, you convert it to another PMX with the physics. It's just going to appear right below your other PMX so I'm just gonna open that right now and as you see there are physics on there but there's only one problem is that obviously the physics are way too out of control so the hair is just going crazy everywhere but the difference between these two is you see okay the physics activated and the physics don't exist on this one so just gonna turn this down okay so yeah there is a fix to this so when your fixes start acting all shaky and crazy and wild like this in any case there is always a fix so don't have too much of a worry about it you can fix it to a good degree so I'm going to go show you what is actually the problem with this and you can see the problem when you open PMX editor so in PMX editor you want to go ahead and open that file you just created and you're just gonna open and you're gonna open it should be wherever your file is located so mine is located in the DSC folder And it's number five and here. Okay, so you don't see the physics on here, but the way to see the physics is we're going to click this tab here, this arrow, and we're gonna go down to T. And with this program you can see there's some English and there's some Japanese. And the Japanese is more from your model. But if your model ha has uh, English bones and things, then this will appear English. But for me, my model has Japanese or Chinese 
writing so that's what's appearing but anyways this is where you can see the physics and yet you see they're still out of control and we want to get these physics under control so if you ever use PMX editor already and you just want to learn how to how to use PMX Taylor then you pretty much already know how PMX editor works so it should be easy of what I'm explaining but if not I'm going to try to take it as slow as possible so you can understand so anyways we have that we have that you might want to keep this open so you can see what happens to it I'm just gonna put this down because it's making life a little bit confusing and what do I want up I don't know I don't know but we can work with it right here anyway so yeah I, I think I'll just put this back up but I don't know it confuses my eyes sometimes and I'm just think I'm just going to go on here just turn I don't know if I can but this is annoying okay there we go so we're just gonna use this here okay so what we're going to do in here to fix these physics problems is uh, first of all we need to click RB up here in the options row and this is the rigid body tab and as you see if you can see if you do know about this then you understand that the rigid body is just way out of place so this is causing the hair to so the hair is being pretty much if you look at the rigid body as a fan like I look at it like a fan that you know an air fan then you just look at this as a big bottle of air or something and it's just making the hair like blow up away away from the rigid body so it, this is acting like some sort of I don't know what you would call it but uh, my mind takes it as a fan or something and that's what it's acting as it's like air like a bottle of air and it's just so if this was the air pocket then the the hair is just blowing this way over it so anyways the issue with this is and this right here just for people who are beginning PMX is to show and hide the bones so they don't be in the way and that's this circle at the bottom if you can see it okay so we have these out of control rigid bodies so uh, first off we're gonna work with this bigger bigger rigid body that should be located inside of the head so from here we're going to go to this tab which is the PMX editor and this is the PMX view so in the editor we're just going to go to rigid body and then you have all of these that have anonymous names because we don't know what they mean so let me just make this a little bit wider so you can see over here okay so there's this so what we want to do is just left click and just pull this down and as you see it's just going to select the rigid body like you see these lines popping out select the rigid bodies that you have selected here and this is how we're going to find this one because um, let me see something. So I want to show the rigid body line. So yeah, basically when these turn red, it's better. Okay, so let me show you what I just did. This says show rigid body line. You take that off. But as you see, you can see which one is selected clearer if you have this on. So anyways, so somewhere in the ones we selected here, this head is selected. So what we want to do now is... But I learned these are sort of color coded. So as you see, the grid of it is uh, light green. And then the uh, actual rigid body thingy, 
I don't know the terms for these things, but the other thing is like an orange or peach color. So it's going to be one of these. One of these as this. Because, you know, for some reason, I just figured it was color coded. And not each of them work with the, the whole... The grid doesn't matter. It's the color of the actual rigid body that matters. So this is green, orange. So it has orange in it. So it has to be one of these because the rest is just green. So anyways, let's click around and see if when we find the head. It should highlight red when once we have clicked it. And it should be right in here somewhere. And in which case it isn't. No, it is. So it's number six of this. So yeah, they're pretty much color coded. So you can just try to figure out by the colors and see, you know, what's going on. But um, now, if you look at this box, if you can see it, maybe I should make it larger. But I want you to see this screen too. So let me just try to make this as large as I can. But it's not really extending this. But anyways, if you look close enough, you'll see. And... Okay, I hope you can see it, but you'll see these things, and this uh, is oversized, so we will be looking at the radius, the size of it. So, you, here I sort of experiment with it, just to get the right size. I don't have precise measurements and things, so you just can experiment as well for what would be the right size. So I'm just going to click this down to one. And that looks sort of uh, big enough to me. But as you see, it's sticking out of the head. And we don't want that because the physics are just going to be more off. Still, it is still going to be off. But anyways, let me show you what happened even for the factor that we uh, put the uh, rigid body down. So let me show you what that did. And then you can just save it as a new file if you want to see what has happened. And we're just going to do new. And we're going to save that. And then actually, actually, we don't actually have to even go into Miku Miku Dance. My mind forgets <laughs> that actually this is here. So yeah, you can see it here, sort of. Though sometimes it's shown differently in Miku Miku Dance. But as you see, the problem I was explaining with, with the rigid body sticking out the head you see the issue here like this is outside of its you know where it should be so it's crazy but as you see the physics on everything else is working so uh let me see something these physics look like they may not be working but probably if you put them in miku miku dance they're probably just working just fine but yeah as you see you move it side to side it's working so this hair is sort of fine but if you if you want to go further you can lower the rigid body but this is what the rigid body does it act, look at it as a fan or something that's blowing and how high do you want the fan so you see it was super large that was very high so I put it lower now it's just like a low level fan and this is just how I'm looking at it because it makes it more simplified for my mind to understand so now that we have that in play we want to move this rigid body into the head more so what we're going to do actually is click this here which uh, i think so some sort of way you move this i did it so i haven't used this too often but i know i did it and there's a move tool some reason I'm clicking this and it just won't pop up. Okay, so uh, oops, this. So I've on I haven't used this program that often, but I do know how to use some things. But for some reason the move tool isn't showing up. Usually I use the move tool. What is the issue? Maybe this? No. Hmm. 
anyways that would make it easier for me to move it into the head it's just with this thingy that's not coming up for some reason but in which case you can use this positionings which is far more frustrating where is my freaking hold on Come on, stop beeping like that. All right. Hmm. What is this? What is my thing? What is this? This is confusing, you know? But yeah, I click that one and it comes, but I want this one. Okay, I think I got it now. Unless, and in fact, I have something else. Yeah, I have that at the front. Kiss. Jeez. Just select this. Mm. Please select this. Do I have it now? No, I don't. What is up? Do you not know how to select this? Okay, that's super, super crazy. And annoying. So, anyways, I'm gonna put this down and see if it goes here again. Oh, look. Okay, so I don't know why it's acting so crazy and stupid like that, but we can just okay. So, yeah, back to the point. What we want to do is move this inside of the head like that and position it just to go inside the head. Like that. And as you see, it's in there now, so we're going to see how it works now. Alright. So, we hope that it works better, but I just turned off my toggle. I'm stupid. Whatever this means. Transform view. So, as you see, it's better. It's much better, but as you see, it's still probably blowing up too much. So, what you do is you just look at it around about ways. And see if it, you know, it's just blowing up too much for me. So what I think I need to do is just um, shrink this even more. In which I'm going to go to the radius again. And probably choose something like 0 0.8. And I made it sort of smaller and I'm just going to bring this down more. So it's if you look at this as a fan, it's just all in pretty much locating where the fan is blowing. And in each side, you want to make sure it's all fully inside of the head. And you just want to position it where you think, okay, it will blow up the hair more gently or something like that. So this looks better. As you see, it's not really blowing the hair that direction and sometimes it looks hideous here like it's just stuck over the face but when you move the model as you see the hair is just going to move anyways and if you want these hairs in the front to just blow forward a bit more like I might want it to do then I'm just gonna take this fan inside of its head which is a rigid body, but pull that forward and then see how it works now. So yes, it blew it away from the face a little bit. So yeah, I'm trying to see this piece of hair here. It's like stuck into its face, I think. Uh, the model's face? No. No, it, it's fine. Ouch. Hold on. I think it's fine so to do a mega test to make sure this is working right 
we're just going to save this and then put the file into Miku Miku Dance to see how that goes. So we're going to do file, save as, and I, I'm going to name it the new. And then we're just going to save it. And yeah. Okay, so now we're going to put this one in here next to the, the crazy hair physics. So yeah, let's just do that. Let's load the new one. And this is just comparing and contrasting what we have already done. And now I'm going to move this over here. And as you see, it is not blowing as wild anymore. But it was when we first loaded it. But you know why? Because it interacts with other models' rigid bodies. So since this rigid body over here is way enlarged, and so is this one, it's going to act crazy. But when it goes by itself, it's just fine. So you want to make sure all rigid bodies on all models you put are fine. unless it, Because once you can collide with this, it's done. So yeah, you don't want that to happen. Let's say I want both of these models to dance and then they end up colliding. This is going to happen. So yeah, it's more air. So this is acting as a fan and it, the rigid body in this one said is acting like a fan and this is going to still interact. So yeah. Anyways, let's bring this down to nothing. Okay. So it pretty much looks nice now. The only thing I wonder about is because the rigid bodies were so big, is this piece of hair standing up here? So we may have to put those lower if it doesn't work right. But if not, it might just be okay. So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and, you know, I'm going to delete these two for a second. You see the difference, that's all that matters. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the old ones. Click delete, delete. And then I'm going to delete the other model. And then I'm just going to load the motion on this one and see how it works with the motion. So we're gonna go here and we're going to load a motion, a BMD file right here. Open. Yeah, and you see the physics are all right. They're moving like they should be, but let's press play. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty good for physics, especially since in uh, V-Red Studio, I edit ed each of this character's strands of hair because I wanted each piece to move. So that's moving just fine for me. But this piece at the top is acting a bit awkward. As you can see, it seems like whatever is going on, maybe the rigid body, aka fan effect, is blowing this up more than it should be. So, that being said, we're going to go try to fix those rigid bodies. And you kind of want to look around to the rigid body to see exactly what is going on with it. So when I'm looking at it, I actually quite no don't know because there's two of these. I don't get the point of there being two of them. But in which case, we're just going to shrink both of them. So uh, anyways, we're going to go back to our editor, PMX editor. And we're going to, so this is a light green color. It might likely be in one of these here. But we also probably can just click it. Sometimes I have troubles. Like you see, I even had a trouble getting this up. So I just use over here. So we're just going to go like that and select. And we see it's in this this section here. So we're just going to click all these till we get one. So that's this one right here. And maybe the other one is just right below it. And so yeah, that's our one there. So these two we'll be working with. And what you want to do is again, go ahead and lower the radius of this. So, and I click this and then the radius, we're just going to turn that to 0 0.2 or something. So that, that, as you see, that lowered the, like the whole size of it, like width wise almost, but the height is very long still. So we see the height right here and it's at three. So we're just going to drop that down to two and maybe that will work and maybe even lower because it's still sort of long. And let's just drop it down to 
maybe one. And I think that's that's a good small level. So just like we did with uh, uh, this one, we're going to do with this one. So this is at 0 0.2 and this is at 1. And we're just going to bring this down to the same as 0 0.2. And we're just going to turn this down to 1. And then that should be fine. And then now we're going to relocate them to this piece of hair. And once I did that, I see this has even more rigid bodies on it. So I don't know why this particular piece of hair has so much rigid bodies on it. And listen, these two rigid bodies belong to something else on the hair. But let me go look at my example and see if anything else is, seems like it's out of error. I mean, out of position or out or erroring. Which, in which case, I actually don't see anything going out of error. So, in this case, we're going to just experiment with it a bit. Since I'm not sure what these two long rigid bodies is doing. It might be, in fact, supporting some of these hairs. I don't know. Since I don't know what it's for, but I've, I've messed with it then uh we're, we're just gonna have to experiment with it and see what's going on with it but then now we want to shrink these these two rigid bodies as well because to me they're just oversized so we're gonna go ahead and find where those are located and they're in this section where one of them is so we're just gonna click to wherever that one is Okay, so it's right here. So we're going to do the same thing we did with the others with this, and we're just going to decrease the radius probably to 0 0.2, and that should be fine. And then we're gonna find this one that's standing out too. And we're going to go ahead and select it. Let's see. Because it should just be with that one, but see okay so it's up here somewhere what are these for because they just seem extra because if I look even further into the hair it look like it has tiny rigid bodies already on it so it's a little bit confusing So what exactly are these rigid bodies for or do they even matter? I don't know. But let's drop this down to 2 and enter. And let's just see what happens if we delete these two long rigid bodies that seem like they have nothing to do with anything. So um, let's see. We're going to have to figure out where they are again. Okay, they're in this section. Probably here somewhere. Mm -hmm. okay, so there's this one, there's this one, and then there's this one. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and delete these. And then we're going to delete the other one, which is right here. And we're just going to see how this works by itself and see if we need to bring those back or not. So we're going to save this as a new file so we can just open the old one just in case this goes all wrong. So we're going to name this new 2 to save it. And now we're going to open this one and just go ahead and delete this one. It's going to load our new one, which is new 2. Open. And that just shut down my whole program. Meaning probably we should not delete those rigid bodies let's just keep them okay so yeah let's go here and we're just going to open our file or let's see if we can even undo what we have done so we're just gonna undo that okay and then we're going to save this one and see if it crashes the program too because if it does then we need to figure out what's wrong so we're just going to save save over the one we just created which will crash the program anyways so let's see 
I'm gonna open Miku Miku Dance and see if the new version crashes. <laughs> but I think it means we need those rigid bodies. So let's see. Gonna load and go to where is it? Huh? Okay, so I'm not in the folder. Right? So it's here. Okay, so open and click OK. And if it crashes, then it means something else. But okay, then it crash. Meaning we need to keep those rigid bodies. Obviously. Okay, so. So yeah, we're just going to relocate all these rigid bodies to a proper place. So we're just going to put them over here and see if that helps the this issue here But let's look at it inside of here and see what has exactly happened Since we shrunk the other ones What is going on because that looks crazy Okay, it's fine now and Let's see let's just move it side to side and see what's going on with the the rigid body at the top on the a hog or whatever it actually seems to be moving better in my opinion but in fact since we do have these two rigid bodies here they must be for a reason so we're just going to try and move them closer and see what happens whoops please redo that oh man there's no redo anyways let's see there probably is a redo I just don't know how redo okay so you can go edit redo and the shortcut for that is ctry and not like blender which is ship ctrl z so yeah to redo something just ctry okay so now i'm gonna get this one if i can click it okay we click that one we're just gonna bring this one over but it actually is linked because this line i think means it's linked I'm not sure though. Like I said, I'm not really super like pro at this, but I'm okay with it. <sighs> I need your body. Come on, wrong one. All right. <sighs> okay, now we're gonna move this up. Nope. Come on, it's just stupid. Okay, we're here. All right, so one of these is it, which I think would be one of these. This one. Oh, this one. Okay, so remember is that one, number 31. And then when I click this, I'm gonna go back to here and I'm just going to, it's acting like it doesn't want to move, it's crazy. It just moved. What am I moving? Uh, it's acting that ridiculous, really. Really. Okay. I want to see what they do, but the program is acting so stupid. So I actually think the hair is pretty much moving fine in this department of this. Except it may be being blown up too much. So anyways, in which case, we're just going to lower some of these, like this. Why, when I click it, it won't click. What is crazy? It only clicks what you want to click. Come on, okay. So anyways, there's this. So, I'm just going to select this, and then I'm going to lower the radius to a bit more like one or something and then I'm gonna also do that to the other which I believe is somewhere up here I thought maybe it's down here should be close oh. all right forget it select it it's actually not in that range select it how could it not be? Or am I just missing it? That is so freaking annoying. Select. 
gotta be here. Yeah, like I said. Was it one of these? Okay. Okay, and just drop this one down to one. And we're gonna see how that one works when we did that. Let's see. To me, it didn't really make too much of a difference. So, yeah, that might be okay. Yeah, it didn't make too much of a difference, so might be okay I can't eat and I, I can't even ever know what those so for some reason it won't it just seemed like it should be an easier button am I even recording because I'm gonna be mad if I'm not okay dang shoot oh man all right oh, okay so now that we did that i think the hair is working fine and you get the general purpose so if i'm going to reteach this again i would just say look at the rigid bodies like almost like fans and as you see each one is sort of doing each piece of hair like as in blowing it in directions but it depends on what where the rigid body is connected to or whatever so anyways for some reason the head one works with the hair so yeah not sure if i should have, have even touched these rigid bodies but like i said i'm still kind of beginner to pmx editor so i just sort of experiment with things and if you are sort of beginner then just experiment with what what each thing is but usually just use the things that work so the head works and I made the hair work and then in this case that's all we really wanted to do is make the hair move more natural and which I'm good with that so that being said we're going to move on so yeah so I'm going to remember which file is which so this is actually the newer one let me see it if there's any difference it like when I move it to the side it seems like the hair at the top the hole or whatever it moves just fine so I probably didn't even have to mess with that really but since you never know and things look awkward to you then you just have to test it out but anyways in that case it seems like it looks fine so moving generally forward i'm just trying to remember which file is which so i think this is going to be my newer one so yeah always work with the file that you just edited in pmx taylor so now you're gonna go back to pmx taylor since you have the physics on the hair already and you're gonna now open the file that has the physics on the hair properly and we're just gonna open that now and go to the second tab and now this gets more to the things that you would be excited to move besides the hair the hair should be the easiest to do depending on your hair because it just gonna automatically do it on its own so the next thing would be if we want to get this shirt actually to move and like you know have physics on it so that's something i will want to have physics and maybe i'm thinking even the bottom of the pants legs i might want to have physics i'm going to see and see how it works but what we definitely want physics on and you do it according to your model what i definitely want to do physics on is a shirt so i'm going to show you how right now so since i have this open we're gonna open our uh screenshot again so this is the new screenshot or maybe i showed it already i'm not sure but this it coincides with this so i'm gonna leave the screenshot in the description so you don't have to burst your brain i trying to understand what each of these japanese phrases are so yeah some of them i still don't know how they work so i just left them blank because i actually still don't know what they do I sort of know what the physical direction does so I left it 
and what what is oh this is material insight right here but we're probably not going to uh experiment with that the thing is is i put that there as a reminder for my own self because I was trying to figure out how to work with two two materials, so I was figuring maybe that would be what does it right there. But anyways, moving on, we're going to put physics on the shirt. So in PMX editor, we're going to need that. And we're just gonna close the rigid body so we don't see that mess anymore. So yeah, so what we want to see now is. basically you know the bones actually we do want to see the bones because let's look at this so this is just getting it all set up let's see so so what you what you want to do is you want to take so here I labeled this texture and that would be the first one on the list right here. And this would be texture. So what this program does is it basically uses the texture you have right here. Even if you parented it to stick to the body, it's still going to put physics on that. It just uses the texture and I guess the location of the texture on the body. And it does physics that way. So first things first, we want to figure out what this texture is named. And since we're doing it. We're putting the physics onto the shirt then uh we need to know what the shirt is called and how you do that is you go into the pmx editor tab and you're going to go to materials and since v right sort of uh v right studio kind of uh labels the textures in english um so most of the textures in english then it's not too much of a problem so you just think okay this is a top so i assume it would be a top sometimes you have multiple tops but it should just be one of the tops so this should be that and how we're going to check is you see it says texture right here in this box and what we're going to do is just we're going to do that and we're going to cut do not delete just cut it and then go to the shoes and you see the texture comes off so that's the right texture we're looking for we're going to go back and we're going to paste it again and you see it came back and you always keep that texture right there make sure you don't delete it forever so anyways once you have that settled and you figured out what that is well here you're going to go to your your textures tab inside of pmx taylor so you're going to go inside the texture section and you're going to find the material which mine is tops right here okay and the next one is bone so thinking about the shirt i'm not really good at which location you should parent things but this has worked for me before uh i think that the lower body will help the physics move correctly so uh what we would choose is you know how you figure out which bone is which because as you see let me let me let me bring that back up it's a bit confusing because it's japanese and if you speak english then it, it will get confusing to you so let's see so this is the texture and then this is the bone so right here is the bone so you put this down and you see there's a lot of more japanese terms that we don't know what those mean and we don't know which bone is which so we're just going to have to figure it out so the best way I found to remedy the fact that I don't know what this says is sometimes is sometimes I put it into um, a PNG translator. But the thing about the PNG translator it, is it will tell me some of what these mean, but it won't tell me all of them for some reason. And I don't know if it has a hard time translating. So let's see what I do is I have the bones active and I'm going to go over to the bone tab right here and basically what I'm gonna do is I just want to let's see so make sure you click the in the options you click B because that stands for bone and then now you can click the bones or you can select them like that 
So, um, what you want to know is what the lower body bones look like in Japanese. So, let's see. You just sort of have to guess. Kind of. So that's what those look like. But it's funny because I don't usually choose those. So let me see. That's what those look like. So I'm trying to figure out really what it's parented to. I mean what, what, what we put it to. But I found if I just uh, quickly tell you so you don't have to look so much. For like skirts and it won't work every time but but because you sometimes you need a different bone so you sort of have to experiment with this too is what I do I experiment with the bones because clearly it's in Japanese maybe Chinese you're not really gonna know what that means if you speak English so you're just going to have to experiment a bit because it gets confusing but as you experiment with it you will start to get familiar with what you clicked last time so I look at things based on shapes with this since I don't know what they are. So basically last time if I'm remembering correctly for something like this I just chose one of these I believe but sometimes you have to experiment so we're just going to choose either the T shape or the upside down T shape and that's what I'm calling these here. So I think I want to test out maybe the uh, upside down T. Maybe we just try that. And this, remember, is you're selecting a bone for this to work with. And then here is the rigid bodies. And it's the same thing. The physics are going to be working with the rigid body that you select. And for some reason for this one, I find it easier just to... Because you're going to have to experiment with all this. Because it's not... You know, everything is not etched in stone because you don't know Japanese. And it may be complicated for a minute. But you just experiment with it. So with this being the rigid body, I just choose number 5. And we're going to actually see what that is in the rigid bodies because we're gonna go here and we're gonna show the rigid bodies again so here are the rigid bodies and what we're going to do basically is just figure out which group 5 is so if we just click some of them so I'm not sure but you see, you can see the group here don't click nothing on it but you could you can see it here as you click through the bodies and I'm, these are all four and so watch what what it's clicking on the rigid bodies and it gives you sort of an idea where the location is so these are all generally hair currently and they're in number four so maybe the other ones is in is more up and we just keep clicking until we see what's what until I figure this out I can't really uh give you a exact okay yeah this is how sort of thing but i can give you a sort of what you can do and what you can experiment what to see if it works for you to to make it work for you so anyways it just takes a minute because every model is different so this went to group two now this is group three so maybe we're getting close to where group five is or maybe group five is just one bone in which case we'll just have to click through each of them which is annoying so that's one too actually it looks like it's in order some weird way don't know because there's two here okay so just click the room and figure it out which where it is and then it will give you an idea of what you need to do next time if it doesn't work oh it's crazily acting like there's no group five in which case we might have to just go ahead and see what happens if we choose a different number. So I see group. So this is 16 groups and this also is pretty much it's just 15 but hmm. these are only showing these but 
wonder what happens if we just choose four since we see that that exists and we're just going to see this as an experiment of what it does so we're going to go here and then we're going to just go ahead and convert it and see what happens we'll see if we get an error if we get an error we need to go back and try it again and if not ah, we'll be fine Takes a minute. And the thing about this is we're not done with the shirt at all. We're gonna have to go do the uh select just a portion of the shirt and I'm gonna show you why. Once this get gets up. Okay, so it successfully worked. Of course this means it's successful. So let me make sure I'm recording and not wasting my voice. Okay. So let's make sure, um, make sure, whatever. Let's just bring it over into here and see what happens. So we're just gonna delete both of these models. And we're going to load the new one that has just appeared right here. And we're gonna see what's going on. And as you see, there's physics on it. <laughs> It's completely crazy though. And this is the part where I say it's is the reason why I say we need to just select a part of the shirt. Because it put physics on all of that and located it to whatever rigid body we're on. So yeah. But as you see it does automatically calculate physics. And let me show you what it actually did inside of matter of fact I'll show you what it does inside of PMX editor when we do it correctly because right now this is not working and this is going to be horrible even if you try to load a motion it's not going just to it's not gonna just snap in place magically it's actually gonna work very foolishly as you can see you just click play and that is just stupid it's crazy and that's not what we want this is really off and ugly and re and ridiculous so yeah so yeah okay so yeah anyways now we want to actually get the physics to work correctly because that will just do some physics but not some physics that you want so anyways this is the part where this Vertex CVS right here at the top comes into play and another thing is material here We forgot to select that so these are different materials. They have silk and cloth cloth wool different things like that I put it sometimes into the PNG translator But it always doesn't translate every single thing. So I just kind of like just experiment with these as well they're all generally just something like silk or wool or something like that. You just choose one. And not at all is that what's causing this. I'm going to show you what's causing this massacre of a mess right here. And what that is, is the vertex CVS part. We need to actually just go select and convert them into a specific part. Like as in we need to go select a specific part. Make it into a CSV file and then, um, has put CVS. It's CSV, but you get the point. Anyway, so let's see. So we want to get out of the rigid bodies. And we probably don't want the bones to show either. And now what we're going to do is we're first going to go to edit. And on the edit drop down menu, go to connected list. And then on the connected list, we're going to go into this drop down menu and we're going to go down to enable multi selection list and we're going to click vertex in this one and just click yes. 
Okay, and then now that you've done that, you want to click the V and click the F, which is the vertex and the face. So once you have that selected, then now what we're going to do is, what we going to do? Uh, we're going to show, no, 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 no. We're going to go here into M and it's at the top in the window. And if you don't see it, just click this. It'll probably be inside of there, but this should be showing. So you're going to click M and this shows all of this which is all your textures and you see if you unclick one it disappears but in fact we want to just get rid of these without having to check each box and get rid of them so we're just gonna click click this R button which I think is an R let me stretch it out Nope, oh, I can't see it I'm pretty sure this isn't an, an R so we're just gonna click that and it takes everything away and then we just want to want this to show only this what we're going to put the physics on so now that we have that ready we're going to go here to a PMX editor and we're going to go to vertex group right here and now that we have that ready we just want to box select what we want to move so I just want the bottom of the shirt to move right here so that selected pretty well but I think I even want to go a little bit higher so let's see i think i'm just gonna go a little bit higher and get more of the shirt so maybe right here and that selected pretty well i think that's higher but anyways maybe we want to do this but when we see the example maybe we don't so for now we're just gonna do this though okay so once you have this selected then we're gonna go over here into the vertex section and you just kind of want to scroll down until you see gray chunks like this and with these what you want to do is you want to right click this uh, right click and then you want to save as CSV and um, to make things easy you might want to save it somewhere where you can mem remember <laughs> where it is and I'm just gonna name this I'm just gonna name this CSV file uh, to Lolo Shirt. Okay. Okay. So you just save it where you someone somewhere where you can remember where it is. So okay. Okay. So now that you have. Really? <laughs> okay, so now that my goodness. Okay, so now that you have that saved, where you want it to be saved, this is when we go back to PMX Taylor right here. And since we did all these settings already. We don't have to touch them anymore and we're just going to go here in this vertex CVS section and we're gonna click the first button and we're just going to load the CVS and this is pretty much the vertices that you only the vertices you want to move and you need that so the PMX Taylor can calculate that and we're just gonna go to the first button and we're gonna run that again and we're going to see if it has errors. If it does, then that means we need to fix something. If not, then it might be fine. So it successfully went through very quickly. That's good. So we're going to go into Miku Miku Dance again and see what happens. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and move this model. Going to just select all. And we're just gonna move it to the side so when the other pops in we just can <laughs> it stretches okay we're just going to open the model and move the other model those physics are way crazy so we're gonna load the other model right now which is our new one right here we're gonna open it 
click OK. So it might be something wrong with this. It might not be. Let's see. Actually, it's pretty OK. So I just shake that back into place. But as you see, it is having a clipping issue. But it is moving as well. And it's moving not crazy <laughs> like that wicked stuff over there. So anyways, next step I'm going to show you. Okay, next step I'm going to show you is how to... Uh... No, no, no. Next thing I'm going to show you is animation i'm gonna anim I mean, i'm gonna put a motion on this and show you how it moves i'm gonna delete this ragtag mess and just throw it away because we don't need it anymore it is just ridiculous okay so this is why you just need to select a specific point so that it doesn't just you know choose everything and try to put it in the same position because when you're doing physics everything has a certain bone you need to do it to and a certain place you need to put it so it's not just you can just put it all to the same thing that's not exactly how that works so anyways we're going to load another motion which we go in here we're going to load motion and right here this vmd file and then there so we're just gonna see how this moves real quick and we're gonna take this ugly thick outline off so we can just see clearer Okay, so now we're going to click play. And as you see, it has physics. It's pretty nice. You see that it's moving. So, number four was an okay place for me to put that. So, so here, when I put this on number four, obviously that worked fine. And whatever this material is... Obviously to me that material looks just fine. So I just would keep it the way it is But in which case you didn't like how the material was moving just experiment and change that and if you didn't like exactly Maybe how this was moving. Let's say it was just moving off to you or just stretching in wild places Then you would just experiment with these rigid bodies Here so you would experiment with rigid body and the material if you didn't like the way that moved but in which case I do like how that moves pretty much and I'm kind of satisfied with that so all I want to do now is just get rid of this clipping problem and so the way I'm going to get rid of it is either I want to uh, make the rigid bodies aka fans bigger to where this is located and just enlarge it and kind of like make this the clothing blow away from the body or if I just want to be more simplistic I'm just going to I'm just going to cut the body out of here so I did both methods they both work but in this case let's just cut the body out because that's the easiest remedy so let's just go ahead and go with that but sometimes I find once you cut the body out in certain places it acts uh, utterly utterly ridiculous like it, it almost looks like your clothing just smashed together and your body is just moving and literally there's nobody in there but sometimes it just looks fine so let's just go test that out now i'm just gonna show you how to get rid of the body so we're gonna go back to pmx editor and in pmx editor we're going to open our new file uh, which is where? <laughs> probably in here. No. It's in my DSS folder, probably. And it's on the desktop. And we're just going to go here. And we're going to go to here and here and here. And we're going to go down to here. Here and here. Okay, so we're just going to open the new file with the, the new physics inside of pmx editor you could rename your files to have more clarity but i'm fine i think i understand and i get it but if you need more clarity and you forget what, where you put your file then maybe you want to rename it before you go into other programs anyways so now 
We're going to get rid of the parts that are clipping through. Which is generally just the belly area and the top of the pants here. So anyways, I'm going to rid this and then I'm going to keep both of these here. And I'm just going to select this away. So I won't, I don't want to select too much of the pants where I delete something that's supposed to be showing. So I just want to delete so much of it. Maybe something like that. But even also with the belly, sometimes. So sometimes the shirt will blow and then if it blows in a certain direction, then it's going to look like your character does not have a belly or anything. It's just going to show empty right there. So in which case you want that to look more natural. Let's see. So if I click play, that's not a problem with this one because I don't see the shirt as it's going to bounce up too much. So it's just going to generally just, you know, stay where it's supposed to stay pretty much. It's all right. So yeah, and looking at the location, we probably want to delete, make sure we delete enough of the pants so that that doesn't clip through. But yeah, this for now should be fine, I think. Because it's moving fine to me. Okay, so let's go here and here. And let's just make sure we delete enough of this. Every model is different, so y you know, you have to sort of use your own judgment based upon your own model. So anyways, we're going to take this and we're going to go shift delete and then we're just going to click yes and that's just gonna take those parts away from the body and as I see this is probably too low so I'm just gonna undo that and I'm gonna try to do it again and just make sure I look at it each side so I think that would be okay but you see like that does that so let's try it again that's more I think that's more accuracy but we didn't get enough of the belly I don't think so let's do it again there we go let's just try that and we're just gonna go shift delete and we're gonna see what else we need to edit so in this case you have this we're gonna save this as a new file so we're gonna save as and we're gonna say new with physics and we're just gonna click save and then we're going to open the file and we're going to see what the difference is so if I load my new physics and open it and move this to the side here and I see an error already with how I cut that I cut it too low so you see that issue there you don't you don't want that that is pretty horrible sometimes when I'm cutting I just decide to go ahead and take the model into blender because I can see exactly what I'm doing better with PMX editor it's a little bit hard for me to remove the body but just to show you the example we're going to pretty much just maybe I just move it side to side as you see it's not it's not nothing there so there's no clipping issue with that it's sometimes that would happen but yeah there's no clipping issue with that so it just basically moves good enough and that is some physics especially if you really like physics and you just really want to do it this is a method to take because it may be too hard at first to do the other physics from scratch so if you don't want to work with from scratch this doesn't do a bad job at all so you can just use pmx taylor and get some easy physics onto your model so anyways now that we have that done i'm just going to go ahead and go into blender and just try to uh crop the body out more better than that so i'm just going to go ahead and open this 
and I'm gonna go to file new 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 new, new general and don't save because I might need it again and then select all and delete which you don't have to do but delete the cube but you don't have to do that if you don't need to uh so we're going to click we're going to import not export we're going to import a pmx so we're going to go to the file where our folders is which is dssc and on desktop let me get to that dssc 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 where is it oh it's important for programs and then it's dssc dss dss and then i'm just going to go down to number five there should be in alphabetical order so number five and here and we're going to go to the last one we created with the physics of the hair and everything and we're just going to click that one and import it not the one you chopped the body off of but the one you didn't chop the body off of if you want to do this method and just open it it's a bit easier to get preciseness with this way so let's see so there's our pmx and what i wanted to show you that i forgot to show you is once you do the pmx tailor as you can see with this model it automatically bones it it automatically rigs it and all those crazy bones you didn't have to like do by yourself and i think i personally think for people who do rig their models from scratch like rig the physics of their model from scratch this probably could even be useful to you if you do do not want to go through the boning process and maybe it'll help you do the physics more easier i'm not sure but in which case you see this as it could be potential use and it just rigs it up by itself you can like edit whatever thing ever you don't like and just add whatever you want that's just if i knew how to use physics that's uh, um a option i would explore or look into so anyways now that we're in here we do not care about the armature right now because that's not what we're looking at but we're just going to close this and we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and start deleting what we don't need in there so we're going to go down here and what we're going to do is click this and you're going to want a miku miku dance a mmd add-on which i'll probably put in a link description but like i said if you want to know exactly how to install these things you might have to go to another tutorial or i'll make a tutorial in the future but it's not what this tutorial is about right now so so what we want to do in this tab when you get it is we want to go to separate by materials and that's just going to separate everything so we can have more clarity on what we're doing and we can just cut out the body and the pants that we don't need so what I'm going to leave is the tops I'm going to take away the hair and all the face actually I don't have to go through that stressful mess uh, I'm just gonna make that show what what I'm worried about is the body so yeah let me see I just generally want to see probably the body first and then the bottoms afterwards so I'm just gonna delete that and I just want to see this so anyways I'm gonna click the body and I'm not sure if the vertices will show through this but let me see That's, and we're gonna go to edit mode and as you see we're just going to cut out the body and it clips through it's just an interesting thing about blender because it sort of shows you especially when it's skin tight kind of it kind of shows you where it's clipping and where it's having the issue it's right there but right here is not showing that us that so we kind of have to sort of just 
guesstimate based on how much of the body the the top is covering so anyways with that being said we're going to go ahead and start selecting the pieces of the body that don't belong so I'm going to you're gonna choose C and this gives you the circle and I'm just gonna kind of like select where the shirt is so I can get a starter point because once the shirt is gone sometimes I'm not not so clear on where I should uh, where I should uh, cut so I'm just gonna start right there and then that's fine and then I'm gonna make sure I do it at the back too and since this is under the uh, jeans then it, it really doesn't matter if you just cut all the legs off so don't matter about if you cut a lot of chunks anything that's not showing you just pretty much won't probably gone anyways because it's going to cause issues so anyways now that we have that we want to uh remove the shirt the top once i find it just remove that and then continue selecting the things that you've seen was wrong and we're just gonna go up and just select okay and I think that's a pretty good location and then we're gonna do it to the back as well so we're just gonna go see and then you're just gonna select that all of that and stuff like that and let's see okay we're gonna select the rest of it here no, like that like that Okay, so we still have some vertices we didn't select, so we're just gonna select those. That, that. Maybe turn the color on too. So you don't be so disturbed by the model. So, yeah, just turn the color on. Uh, well, yeah, that didn't help. Anyways, so turn that off. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, so now we're just going to... On here we just click delete and we are going to go to vertices just delete all those vertices and you see there's some even more but you can go further just to go ahead and delete those as well just click delete and delete vertices delete delete vertices delete on here and delete vertices and here delete vertices okay and here delete vertices okay so yeah that made that empty so i'm gonna put the top back on and i see that as fine because you're gonna have pants going over this and just to finish off the body we're going to select these parts that are sticking out and we're going to delete those as well you don't want to get too close to the deck because if your character leans forward like this and make a dance you don't want it to look like they everything just disappear like they don't actually have an existent mesh underneath you want the mesh to look existent so anyways you're going to select the pieces that are showing and probably even more but this will help you get a starter guide and you're going to just shift select all those maybe even you see select the hard to get part pieces and see if you just delete everything that's on the inside like such as the arms since they're not going to be showing it'll be fine just click c c c c oh stack stupid everything starts stack stupid after a while or maybe it's frozen oh okay it's lower and i'm not play pressing shift that's sucky anyways make sure you press shift to select more than what what is going on okay so let's just select this it's acting a bit crazy okay so 
now that we have our starter points and let's see because you gotta look inside sort of to see if it's going to mess up your visuals when you are actually animating if it's not it's not but anyways we're just gonna go ahead and get our starter points for inside the sleeves like that and let's see we're going to just go ahead and delete the arms in the lower the, the lower part of the upper back and let's see what that has done it looks like this is too close shift shift not make it too close but anyways there's that and then we're going to take the top off again and we're just going to go ahead and finish deleting the arms because we actually don't need the arms on this specific model but other models you might need the arms but we don't need it on this one and we don't need the upper hand either so yeah we're going just to go ahead and just delete this as much as we see it Okay, and then do it for this orange. And I don't know why it selected legs down there, but it doesn't matter because the legs are not going to be showing anyway. So I think that's as much as the sleeve goes down. Let's hope it didn't cut further. Maybe we shouldn't even. Nah, maybe we shouldn't even cut that low. Huh. So, anyways, we're going to do it again. So maybe not even that low. Maybe just about right there. Because you might see under the sleeve. You don't want it to look like the hand is missing. Or chopped off you don't actually want that effect to take place in mingled mingled that you just sort of want to get the things that are clipping so yeah maybe just this this look at the back Let's see maybe some more of this stuff hope that's okay what you can do to see what's happening let me get this part uh, what you can do to see what's happening is put the top back on and see what it's actually selecting let's see in this mode okay so i see some more pieces that probably need to be selected let's see and it looks fine for the most part. Wait, this part. See? These parts. See? So I'm just gonna take the top off again and I'm just going to delete whatever I just did. Delete. Delete vertices. And that should work fine. Let's put the top back on and see if it chopped around the neck. Because you don't want it to look like he doesn't have any mesh under. Okay, so I think that works fine. Let's hope it doesn't clip even more in other spots. But in which case it does, we can edit it again. So we're going to shift this up. It is clipping in the shoes, but that doesn't matter because the shoes doesn't really show. So we're going to go ahead and get our bottoms back right here. And we're just going to cut these now. So yeah, we're going to definitely get our starter points. So we're going to do C. We're going to grab the pants first, go in object mode. Grab the pants and then go back to edit mode. And just sort of select the starter point, which would be about right there. And that should be fine. Maybe even select it at the back, or maybe go into wireframe and just select it that way. Like that. Yeah. Then you pretty much selected it. But yeah, let's go to the tops and. No, we won't. We actually can get these vertices here in a uh, wireframe because we, cause we we can sort of see better this way. So we're going to go ahead and go see. Scroll up. Do the selection and just delete this stuff. Just 
delete this. Wait, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to go out of the line. It's okay to. You just nope. Oh man, it just shift select this, and then go to C again. Oh, not grab. C and C. What else you can take away? But I don't think you should take too much away because as you see these lines are extending down right here and all it's gonna do is take take away from mesh that you probably want to show so probably how much I did in the first place is fine so I'm gonna CTRL-Z and I'm just gonna cut this away so I'm just going to go to delete and delete vertices and that should be fine so now I'm just going to show the uh, textures again and his eyes look jacked up in here but I don't think they're necessarily jacked up I hope not I hope not I don't know why his eyes look jacked up in here all of a sudden who knows right but let's hope his eyes didn't get jacked up if it did we're probably just gonna have to fix it this is the swirls and it seems like it's a bit off but I hope when we join the meshes and put it into Miku Miku Dance it just works right if not then we might just have to carefully do it in PMX editor but I've done this before and it went fine but let's see anyway so I add the armature and then I go like that and make sure everything is there but also before that, before I get a way too ahead of myself, I'm just going to join the meshes again. And so yeah, as you see, once I join the meshes, my eyes just pop back, back normal. So yeah, it's fine. So yeah, I was kind of worried about that, but I think it's normal now. So what we're going to do is just select the model and pretty much with this one it just this need to be selected but you can just go all but pretty much that just needs to be selected right here and then you're just going to go to export to a new PMX so once you have that export just put it in a folder where you can find it and just put a name for it and then save it and then you're going to see how your finished product looks inside of MMD and we're close to being done but we're not done yet but we're close to being done so let's see what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I think we're going to go ahead and go test that and make it make a dance. Okay, so yes, let me check my video, make sure I'm still recording. So we're just gonna go ahead and do a test run inside of here. We're just going to go ahead and delete these two models. Go to wherever you saved your new model and just open it still should have its physics and everything like that so when it first came in you see it blew a little bit it, it does got its physics but if you want to further know yeah it does so okay so we're going to now put the stuff on it and see how it goes so we're gonna go choose a motion now So yeah. Yeah, so as you see it's not so bad anymore. But sometimes at some angles it shows that I cut that I cut that. So hmm. I might want to actually edit that and 
not cut it as low because if I get certain angles with the camera I can clearly notice that that's gone but you just do it to whatever perfection or ever whatever how much you want it to be done but for now we're gonna leave it at that it's just based on the example I'm trying to show you it, the preciseness and everything depends on you but uh yeah that works and you see we have some nice physics now but I also want to go further and try to put it on a pan sake. I don't think I've been too successful at doing this but I'm just going to try it today and see what happens and then that's going to be the last part of this tutorial and we will conclude the tutorial so yeah let's get that started so we can hurry up and end it because I know you all probably have something to be doing and you just want to learn this quickly so now we're going to open our new model into pmx editor and we're going to do the same thing so we're going to open the new one we just saved from blender and open it and now you have the new physics and everything in this section and you can even test it here sometimes inside of a uh, pmx editor it shows a little bit different than in um Miku Miku dance, but that's okay. As long as the final product in Miku Miku dance looks right, that's all that really, really matters. So, yeah. There we go. Anyway, we're gonna have to learn how to work with some things better on this program, but for now, that will give you physics, especially if you're excited about physics and you have no idea how to put it on there this is a very easy simplified way to do so so anyways moving on so we're gonna head go ahead and move on to the attempt with the pants like not saying this is going to be su successful at this present point um but it's just a try to show you another example so we're going to uh, go ahead and choose the bottoms like that and then we're going to go ahead and go to select this select all of it how are you not selecting the bottom or that's the inside okay that's the inside so I just really just want this kind of to just move a little bit but I don't know if it's gonna work. I, as I said, I haven't really too much tested this part out. Or we're just gonna see for fun. How about that? Uh, so you can actually leave the tutorial if you want to at this point, because I'm just gonna be showing this for fun. If you, but if you want to further understand, just see it again and just see what happens with this, then you can go ahead and continue. But let's see. We're just going to test this out. So we're going to go to Vertex, keep that open, and we're going to find where it's at. So this is converting it to the CSV again. And sometimes you can't see it that easily, so you just have to go this way. Just till you see the long lines going across. It should be right in here somewhere. Just takes a minute. Jeez, I hate this. Get loaded, so just load. We're just getting the highlighted parts. Somewhere in here, but I just gotta go real slow. Where's that in? 
this bit. No, that's a couple of my arms. Okay, sometimes it acts act stupid and you didn't actually act like you didn't actually select this when you know you did. Okay, so let's just try it like that and see if it's here now. There it is. Okay, sometimes it just acts ridiculous. Just do it again. So I'm just going to do... Remember, this is just, this last part is just a test for fun, and might figure out on my own. If it doesn't, and then I'll share that part with you, because this is too, this is too, like, pants, legs, and I don't know how it works when it's separate. So, what we're going to do is go here, open our new model with the physics and the cut buddy wherever you saved it the one you were just working with in pmx editor and then go ahead run that again go here then let's look at our chart again i pretty much have it memorized but just so you can know what it is we're going to go to the texture and we're going to choose what it is i'm pretty sure it's bottoms because there is no other bottoms on there so I'm pretty sure it's that and then I'm going to hold, go ahead and go down. I'm going to test one of these just to sort of see but yeah that's this is just a test but we can try this and then we're, we can try I don't know something else maybe we can go to I don't know. Uh, so a lot of this is experimentation but always remember to load your CSV so open it and we're just gonna see what this does okay if I probably knew more about rigid bodies and stuff like that I probably would understand which each thing is exactly for but since I'm, my understanding is not not to a certain level yet then um, I kind of have to experiment with it until I learn more so let's see I'm gonna delete this one and we're going to load this one and they're moving actually but as you see there's an issue here which that is that stretching like that and I'm pretty sure since these parts is moving like stretching I'm pretty sure that it's going to stretch once he start moving so I'm just gonna load the motion which is this and just see what happens so when he moves you're gonna see these two parts stick to the floor because that's just what's going to happen and I don't know if it's an error on my part and I forgot to select it but no I just think it's connected to something else so we're gonna do one more test where we go back to here and we just choose this part instead because it could be the rigid body I put it on and it also could be the bone but let's see so we're gonna try to read your body first. See what happens. 
It's all a little bit experimentational with BMX Taylor, but eventually you'll start to get the hang of it. So, yeah. So we have a successful one right here. And delete this one. And load this one. Okay. And so that one's still sticking right there. And so is that. So I'm assuming maybe it's the bone. So we're going to see what happens when we do the motion. So we're going to load the motion. Click, click play. It's doing precisely the same thing. So it might be the bone. Let's just go see. So we're going to go back here. Go to the bones and just see the problem with me and the bones stuff. I don't exactly know what to parent or put this to, but maybe what if I just let's see. So, this is the top, so these are bones now because the top has bones that wasn't always there. So what if I put it on the feet? In fact, I don't know which one it is. So uh, let, let's just screenshot this and see if we can get some clarity through a translator. So we're going to go here and we're going to go to our translator. We're going to X that one and we're going to upload the new file we just made here. So let's see. This says left foot. Left foot, but thing about these things is it seems like it you can only do it on one. I mean when you do it on one it seems like it acts for both and then they'll both be going to towards where the right foot or the left foot is. So I actually don't know which one of these to choose and I wish there was a way I could choose both. So yeah, this is just still something I'm working with. But let's see. What if I just, because it's probably okay right there, but uh, yeah. I don't know which one these are anymore. But anyways, let's choose like this one or something. See what happens. Okay, so we're going to delete this one, load, so. and as you see, like I said it would do, this one is going this way too. So it's not the fact that it can't do it, it's just all the question in how to do both of these legs separately because if I click play I don't think it will stick to the ground anymore it's doing all sorts of other crazy things now so what is that actually linked to something up here so we're trying to link it to the feet but I don't know which one the feet is or maybe this has something to do with it let's see Not at all. Just broke the legs. So. What we can do is go into PMX editor 
and do the whole bone select thing and see if we can figure out what to connect this to. So we're just going to show all of these again. That. And we're going to see what the heck. So let's show the bones and What if they both went towards this? What if they both went towards that bone? Bone. Choose and select it. Okay. okay. Whoops. I clicked off of it somehow. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and select this bone. Kind of look at the font. It's a little bit different from the other one, but some reason if you can understand it then I don't know if this one will work for it because it looks like it sort of sticks to the ground but I don't know I don't know what would make this work okay or let's just select the foot that so that's the bottom one how about this one so that's these. So, so let's look and see what symbols look sort of similar to that. These look kind of similar. Yeah, and then I see this IK. So yeah. And then if I jump up one or two. See? See? This one is IK. Then this one is IK. So if I go up, jump up, two more, one, two, three. That doesn't quite look like that symbol there, but this one looks like that symbol, so maybe I'm doing it jacked. Let's try this. Let's see what happens. Okay, and in fact, there's this, and I don't know if this will do like a another one, but just for test purposes, let's click this, and let's see what I have on my screenshot. Hmm. What is this? Something material. What is this? Okay, how does this even make sense? Never mind. Let's just go ahead and test this. Okay, let's see what's happening in here. Of course, delete this one and then load the new one. Okay, let's see what's going on. Hmm, it's going to do something off the wall. Let's see. Hmm, I don't trust it. Exactly. So you see it's working for one leg, kind of. Definitely not the other leg so how to do both of these where they go both their separate ways is still something to be found out but besides that let's just get our complete model of what we're trying to show so here we are Thickness down and load our motion. Okay, so if you wanted to you get some basic physics on at least your tops and your uh, bottom dresses and not, you know, things that are split like this, 
between pants legs we'll we'll figure that out sometime but if you just want to get basically this then there you have it this, that's how you use PMX Taylor to do so and might do another clear tutorial on it just in case this one wasn't so clear but yeah, that's basically the gist of it. And this is Dollhouse. This is Lunoir. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you later.